Hey guys, Prince Medicus here. In this video, we'll be reviewing the seven most repeated biology topics in post CTMEs, irrespective of the university of your choice. Welcome back. Let's delve straight into the video. The first is taxonomy or classification of living organisms. Here, you should know the seven taxonomic rankings. Know the characteristics of living organisms in each of the phylums. For example, phylum Echinodermata, which harbors the starfish. They are usually radially symmetrical. So please pay attention to the characteristics. Another one, phylum Purifera, you should know the characteristics here. Phylum Nematoda and the rest of them, please pay close attention to this. If you think you know the characteristics in these phylums, attempt the question on your screen. Leave the answer in the comment section. The next is ecology and adaptation. First, you should know the ecosystem. Know everything in the ecosystem. How living and non-living organisms relate with one another. You should know adaptation, the concept of adaptation in its entirety. How organisms adapt to the environment. Study tolerance and tolerance range, very, very important. Universities do set questions from this. If you think you're acquainted with these subtopics, attempt the question on your screen and do leave the answer in the comment section. The next is respiratory system. Understand the respiratory system in its entirety. Know the structures involved in respiration. Usually, you should know by now that lower organisms might not need a respiratory system. They respire via diffusion. Know the difference between inspiration and expiration. Know the structures that organisms use to respire. And if I may ask, what do you think is the essence of respiration in a human being? It might look simple, but if you know the answer, leave it in the comment section. In addition, attempt this question. Next is genetics. You should know the Mendelian laws. Understand the concept of genetics. Get yourself acquainted with the terms used in genetics. We have dominant genes, we have recessive genes. What are the examples of dominant genes? What are the examples of recessive genes? What is an allele? You should know all of those things. And cross matching is very, very important. Can a man with bowed hair transfer that trait to his female child? What do you think? Leave the answer in the comment section. And everything concerning genetics, get yourself acquainted with that. The X-linked genes, the X-linked traits, you should know that the female has XS, the male has XY. The difference between orthosomes and sex genes. In addition, attempt the question on your screen. Leave the answer in the comment section. The next is nervous system and the sense organs. You should know what a nerve cell is. Earlier, you should have known the definition of a cell. Now, you should know what a nerve cell is. You should know the sense organs we have, the eyes, the ears, and everything it contains. How you are able to see. How is vision and sight possible? How is hearing possible? How is balancing possible? If necessary, I would advise you should know the structure of the ears. Very, very important. It will go a long way to help you. Mark my words. 
Know the structures of the eyes, the ears, the skin, and other sense organs. Know this, and it will help you to pass your exam successfully. The next is evolution. You should know Lamarckism and the theory of Darwin. You should know the difference between Lamarck's theory and Dalton's theory. You should know the evidences that support this theory of evolution. For example, you would notice that human beings have what we call appendix, which is a vestigial structure. So hence, it's used as an evidence to back up the theory of evolution. There are lots of other evidences, like for insulin as a hormone in cow and in humans. There are lots of them, so get yourself acquainted with this. Test out your knowledge of evolution by attempting the question on your screen. The next is transport systems. Here you should know the open and closed circulatory system. Know the difference between the systemic and the pulmonary circulation. Know the gradation of hearts in fishes, in amphibians, in humans. Also know the component of this circulatory system. For plants, it's mainly the vascular structures, which is the xylem and the phloem. The tricuspid valve is found in which side of the heart? Do you know the answer to this question? If you do, leave your answer in the comment section below. In addition, attempt the question you are seeing on your screen and leave your answer in the comment section also. We have come to the end of this video. Thank you for sticking around. And I hope this video is of benefit to you while preparing for your post-CTM. Remember, be conscious of time and be accurate while you answer questions. Remember to like, share and subscribe.